So apparently Snapchat added a bunch of updates and I just made this. So you should add me on Snapchat because I do random things like that all the time. Also, hi! So I got a package today. Uh, this is not the package I was looking for the other day. That one is still lost. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with that one. Uh, this one I ordered by accident. <laughs> I was looking around eBay trying to figure something out and accidentally hit commit to buy and here it is. But that's okay because I think I'm gonna make this work. Basically I was trying to find a way to keep my props running even when nobody walks past them. Like my Grim Reaper, for example, it has an infrared sensor that only goes off whenever somebody breaks the light as they walk past it. And that doesn't always happen, but I want it to still be running even when people aren't walking exactly where they need to. So I was thinking that maybe if I rig up like just a little individual blinking LED, that maybe that would trick it into running over and over and over. Um, so pretty much I was just researching the LED diodes and accidentally ordered 50 of them. But that's okay because the only way to know if it'll work is to try. So let's do that. Alright, so basically <laughs> this is just going to be a pack of 50 LED diodes, which I definitely don't need 50, but uh... <laughs> There they are anyway. And as far as powering them goes, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, so we're going to find out together. But I bought these little button batteries. So the only thing I could think of, again, I don't know if it's going to work. But let's find out together. Alright, so here's a single button battery. All right, now I'm just gonna take one of these LEDs. I don't know which side is positive or negative. I used to know, because I took a electronics class in high school. So let's just experiment here. Also, I'm always afraid of stuff like this that I'm gonna get shocked. Oh my God, it works. I'm actually kind of amazed. I didn't really expect this to work on the first try. Alright, so I taped this to keep it together. So let's go see if it has an effect. Uh, well, that's not good. I don't know where the power cable is. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why the power cable is not with the actual Grim Reaper. I don't know why I would have put it somewhere else last year. That could be a problem. And unfortunately it's a little bit too late for me to go digging around here trying to find it. Okay, well, at least we know the blinking light works. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to get out here and try and find that power cord. I don't know where it could be. Why would I not have just put it with the Grim Reaper? Why would I have put it somewhere else? What was wrong with past me? Hopefully, it just got accidentally like put up with all the other power cables and stuff. Or even maybe put in the pop-up zombie box. I don't know. I guess I'll look for it tomorrow. Yeah. So, I need to go to bed, actually. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and I gotta get up early. So, thanks for watching, and we'll figure this flashing light Grim Reaper thing out tomorrow. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.